Our guys withstood, you know, a, a bunch of punches from Florida. Um, you know, Florida's a great team, and, you know, we, I thought we got off to a great start, and what great teams do, they were on the road, they settled down, and they punched back. And it was one, I thought the second half we started out well again. And uh, <clears throat> I thought both teams catch on, kept on fighting back after the other team's runs. And, uh, you know, I thought Jalen Hill, Tanner Groves, you know, Jordan had to handle the ball a lot. Uh, Jordan did, you know, a great job a couple times early. He got a little fatigued. and But, man, he made some big plays down the stretch, Jordan Gowire did. Um, so, you know, I thought it was a great team effort, and I thought we're growing and getting better. But I, I'd be remiss if I didn't lead by saying thank you to the students and the people there. Man, did they, they created a great atmosphere, a great crowd, and I uh, just want to say thank you to them because they, they, they made a difference. I hope someone recorded it because we were in the locker room, you know, talking adjustments. And, um, but I just was talking to Coach just now, uh, him and Barb. And um, just, I can't imagine any coach having a transition as, as gracious of a person that sat in that seat before you as Lon Kruger. I mean, the transition I've had, he's been gracious. He's introduced me to people. He's seen how he can help. He's come by practice. He's, he's um, just, he's, he's, he's a special man and a Hall of Fame coach. And I wish I could have been courtside in a, giving a standing ovation um, because um, young people in this profession, myself, um, need to see people and have Lon Kruger as, got, you know, as a great example. One the right way, high character, um, all, the, all the boxes checked with Lon Kruger. You know, it, <clears throat> you know, I just think it keeps solidifying us about getting better. That we, you know, that um, that our hard work is it, things are adding up. Like we do some different things defensively, and I think these guys, I think I've, I've said this before. There's a certain part that where they got to buy in, you know, and then there's a better level where they believe in. They believe in what you're doing, and I think sometimes young people, you know, they have to buy in at certain things. And uh, I think these guys are believing in what they're doing. I think they're believing in guarding, um, getting better at it. Um, they're believing in some of the stuff we're doing. And, um, and they're getting excited about it. And I just, uh, you know, that's the one thing. You know, we were one in the country in defense last year. And everyone's like, you know, we talked about creating offense with our defense. And that's fun. And that's, it, it isn't just like, oh, we're going to play defense for two hours in practice. No, we're, we're trying to create offense with our defense. Get some turnovers. Let's run. And... Uh, I think the guys are really getting excited about being good at defense to create some tempo offensively. Guys just doused the heck out of me with, with water. And I, I told the managers I'd like to petition that we keep the water room temperature because I just lost my breath getting doused with ice cold. But they're all saying that. Honestly, God, that's like the 50th thing on my mind. I was just so happy for these guys, the program, the, the Sooner fans. I was just so happy for them. I mean, it, it's not even, you know, I, I'm sure I'll look back on it, but man, I'm young. I got a lot to do. And uh, I know it's been a journey. I've taken over, not Oklahoma, but three previous programs that were in last place the year before I got there. So there is a, a, a grind to turn it around and, and to, to look back on that with, that many, with the wins. Um, but the older you get, it's not about the wins. It's about the journey, the people. I, I can just think back of so many guys, the players that we coached that, that helped you get those. I'm just, but truly, I'll reflect later right now. I'm just so happy for these guys that they're, that they're improving and getting better. Do you take some pride in kind of the team giving everybody something to cheer about and to kind of rally around tonight. I mean, the atmosphere tonight was as good of any game as I've ever seen. Uh, do you kind of, is there a kind of a sense of pride, a source of pride there in, in that? It's not as much against anything else that's going on. It was just, I just think it was just for us, for our, for our guys, for the fans, for the basketball fans here, for the Sooners, you know, to give them to see the excitement in that arena, you know, and, um, you know, to make this place a, a place you want to be in. You know, uh, uh, obviously I'm a huge basketball fan, and to get, to get people in this arena to come on in, this thing could be electric. And uh, so I was happy for the Sooner fans, the students. Yeah, I mean, it had nothing to do with anything else. It's just uh, I'm happy that they, they were, we got a good win for our program, for our guys. The students were fired up, and the people were in there fired up. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.